Hey, what's up, everybody? It's five o'clock somewhere. Wednesday night, tropical update time. I'm Mike from Mike's Weather Page. Thanks for checking it out. We're going to talk about what's cooking in the world of weather. Uh, we got Lisa fixing to make landfall right now in Belize City. That's happening right now. I uh, really want to focus on uh, what we have cooking in the southeast part of the United States uh, next week. But here's the latest um, 85 mile an hour Lisa. And uh, it is going to do this little zigzag turnaround that we've been talking a lot about. So it could still be a depression in the Bay of Campeche over the weekend, but uh, models really aren't expecting much. There's a bunch of wind shear down here. Uh, it's going to come back over Mexico. Uh, maybe some remnants long ways away. I'm not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> very, very low confidence on anything like that. So no worries on this thing shooting up through the Gulf. It's gonna, it is going to be in the Gulf. But it's going to come right back down. So this means more rain for Mexico too. So we got to worry about a lot of rain down there. This is going to be a lot of juice uh, through the weekend. Um, and here's the latest look here, kind of give you an idea. It's got a um, pretty small eye as far as uh, hurricane force winds go, about 20, 25 miles. So tiny little system, but it is going over uh, Belize City. Um, here is the latest on our new system, though, that we've been tracking now last week. It seems like. We have some uh, energy popping up here that is going to eventually turn and uh, going to bring some weather to Florida in the southeast. Um, models are not showing much development right now, which is good news. It is, however, showing consistency that, that this is going to be a lot of juice. Uh, this is Tropical Tidbits afternoon models here on Wednesday. Um, Euro 1007, Icon 1007, GFS 1004, CMC is as strong as at 995. That could be developed, that could be named. But uh, the main point is it's starting out as a broad low pressure area. And uh, what this means is we do have a high pressure to the north. These are going to accelerate a lot of moisture, slingshot this moisture and storms uh, north to center. So not only Florida, but also uh, East Coast states are going to be feeling this. This is uh, starting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. It should be out of here by next Friday. But, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot, a lot of uh, consistency here that we can see some storms rolling in uh as, as this is a big broad low pressure area um some of the latest models just to kind of give you an idea what the, the pressures look like this is also on tropical tidbits um you can just see generally low pressures very broad very <laughs> almost subtropical in nature uh nothing's showing up too organized the euro um keeping it kind of weak as it kind of goes towards uh the southeast including florida uh, we got a high pressure to the north that's been steering this thing towards Florida, and um, that's kind of what we got. Like I said, the CMC is the most uh, aggressive showing actual possible development. Uh, this would be next Wednesday, Thursday. So one of the, one of the biggest things uh, that might be a sneaky little problem with this guy is that we're going to have persistent winds. This is Sunday. These little arrows here are wind directions coming in off of the Atlantic. But uh, as we can see, as this low develops, we're going to have persistent east winds coming in towards the Florida uh, coast. And they're still dealing with the um, aftermath of Ian. They, they lost some, a lot of beach erosion. There's some uh, condominiums and some businesses still shut down because of this erosion on the east coast of Florida. So not good for uh, Florida here. We're going to have a lot of this wind pounding in the east side of the state. We're going to have some of these winds all the way up into Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. But the main winds are going to be coming in off of the Atlantic. And depending on if this thing develops or not, we could just see two, three, four days of this constant, constant winds uh, blowing down against, against the, uh, the coast. So that's one thing to watch. Uh, these are pretty, pretty strong little winds, too. These are gusts, but, you know, 57-mile-an-hour wind gusts. So this, you know, this could be the bigger story. This could also bring in some uh, flooding because we're going to have higher king tides, uh, the moon cycles, more tides this upcoming week. Uh, we got to worry about things like the uh, St. John's River, you know, still saturated. So this could be, you know, uh, some surge, uh, even with a weaker system. So this something to really watch uh, in the days ahead as far as uh, development goes. The uh, latest uh, ensembles here from the, the Euro are showing, you know, a couple of, you know, not all, the, not all the models, but we are seeing some models starting to show development possibility uh, nothing too strong, but there are ensembles showing a named system. Uh, not high confidence with the main operational run yet, but the ensembles are definitely teasing that idea. Um, and uh, the latest look at the tropical cyclone probability map here. 
Uh, as we get into time, we're definitely seeing a little bit more color than we've seen all along. That's a tropical storm. So, yeah, the confidence is definitely increasing that we could see a named storm um, early part of next week. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, named or not, we're looking at a broad system, a lot of moisture, a lot of winds. Gulf Stream still warm. Uh, the Atlantic waters are still 80 plus. So, you know, definitely warm enough for something to try to develop. We don't have a lot of ocean heat content. That's the water below the surface. So, um that means you know likelihood of anything too severe at least uh would be would be minimal uh but wind rain those those are the sometimes just as bad so that's what's happening it's still brewing uh the models are slowly you know teasing the idea it could be a little stronger but um we haven't seen it yet on the operational but this one particular model i really like is showing a progression of uh tropical storm chances at least so so that'll do it. Uh, appreciate you joining. Listen, if you love Mike's Weather page and if you love our our people and your your our kind of people, right here on the website, check it out. The MWP Cruise. It's our second annual. Ton of fun. It's next March. Read about it. We got a lot of perks, a lot of fun, a lot of stuff. Even a party on Sundays, uh, and then a, a bunch of free stuff. So check it out. We'd love to see you on the cruise. It's a lot of fun. It's cheap. We got some great prices and uh no vaccines required now so uh see you on board <laughs> i'll be back live tomorrow for the daily brew thursday 9 19 eastern cheers have a good night